Yeah, you know. Hi, Hello. How are you Hi, doing? Mother, Meg. I'm well. How are you? Hi. We're amazing. How are you? I'm well. So I love Zombies 3. I love the message of the movie. I loved watching the two of you bring your character arcs to life in this movie. So for both of you, what do you like best about working with each other? Uh, that's a long, long list of things. Um, I think the best part about working with Meg is just that I think she understands my sense of humor more than anybody else in this world. So I feel very at home when I'm with Meg. And um, we've just, we've come so far. We've been a part of this journey together for six years now. And um, we have an amazing cast who have trickled in throughout the franchise. But, you know, we started this together and um, we've just been there for each other the whole time. So I, I'm grateful that I feel so comfortable and safe with Meg and, you know, we've gone through some crazy stuff together. And, yeah. Um, I, we're the only people that know what that's wait. like, you know? So it's really nice to to have her by my side. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I think like, just like um, going through like this crazy process together and like kind of starting at, at like, we don't know what's going to happen. So let's just make sure we have each other's backs yeah. um, to now is just, is it's like a crazy you know, it, it's wild. Um, but I, yeah, just like the trust um, is is really important and, and we have that and yeah. Yeah, so you both look like you're having so much fun making this movie. Tell me about some of your favorite days from set or even downtime hanging out. Well, um, when we're on set and we're not doing much and we have a couple hour break or even just in between shots, we're constantly playing games, yes. the whole cast. Um, we're big, we're big gamers. But I don't know. What else? We would like watch. Oh, remember we watched the McGregor fight? That was. Oh, we crazy. did. We watched. We watched a UFC fight while we were shooting. We actually took a little break. We convinced the director to like take a 10 minute break so we could all watch it together. And we saw his ankle. Yeah, we saw his ankle snap. Okay, this we're getting off topic. Okay. But anyway. Um, that was a crazy um, night though. Um, uh, games. We just do so much. It's honestly, we don't have to do Laughing. anything because yeah. the, just being together as a cast just being in each other's presence is is fun. Yeah, it's hilarious. Um, especially when you're doing a night shoot and you're doing, you know, like <laughs> 8 p.m. to 8 a.m., like five nights in a row. By that fifth night, you're getting super delirious and <laughs> yeah. you're just like, it's Yourself, like an experience completely. with, uh, yeah, with <laughs> yeah. the whole cast. So we've gone through a lot together. <laughs> yeah. So Meg is Addison, you're the leader of Cheer, and Milo, <laughs> you're exceptional Zed, but you're also both co-producers on this movie. What was that experience yes. like? <laughs> it amazing. was amazing. I mean, it's, the, it's a first for me, um, first for you. Yeah. And um, I think, you know, I feel like there's nobody in the world that cares about this movie as much as me and Meg do, uh, Meg and I do. And um, I feel like I obviously we've been a part of this movie for a long time, but to be on this other side of things so we can kind of create the structure of the movie and yeah. have real creative say and what happens, um, not only to our characters, but to other people is really cool. I mean, and I think that we have pretty good yeah. ideas. Yeah, we, we um, did definitely. Yeah. And we changed some things in the movie that I think is for the better. 100%. And um, that feels just really cool to, to have had that impact on. Cause we also movie. read, but like, well, not only do we know like Zed and Addison so well in the story, of course, cause like we've, lived it, it but yeah. also like we care so much about what the fans like and like what the fans are looking at because we like read stuff all the, time, all the time and we talk to so many and so um to kind of put that input like no no, no. if i was six years old watching disney channel like this is what i would want to see yes. and to have that input is just so wild so if you were a young person that like commented something on one of our posts yeah, about the movie maybe you co-wrote zombies <laughs> like, yeah that's pretty crazy <laughs> So yeah, there are so many fans around the world of both of yours, of Zedison, of both of your work as artists. Zedison, going so strong. So what are some of the comments and reactions that really stayed with both of you? No <laughs> way, Z. <laughs> <laughs> there is, uh, obviously we have many fans that want us to be together, um, which respect, love you respect. guys. But love you know, guys. it's it's things like, we got a piece of fan mail the other day yeah. and it was written by this like 11 year old girl and it's in like her little 11 year old handwriting and it's wow. zombies gave me the courage to stand up to my bully is what she said wow. and it's moments like that where you're like wow we really have impacted these people in such yeah. a great way 
or like I watch zombies and now I want to, you know, take up cheerleading yeah, or football dancing, or I, dancing or computer it, science. Yeah, inspired me to do what I want to believe in or stand up to certain people who they wanted to. It's it's really inspiring. And like the fact that we're involved in any capacity it's is awesome. just so surreal. We have the greatest fan base. It's actually kind yeah, of ridiculous. So I like nice. we could do anything and they are so supportive. So sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so tell me about some of the moments as performers and as producers that you feel really proud of from this movie. Well, getting to Zombie Town on Zombies 3 was very overwhelming. It was a huge set that was like 10 times the size uh, as the original Zombie Town in Zombies 1. And um, we, and also just at the end of the movie, there's a closing number that me and Meg changed a lot. Um, because we wanted it to be more of a callback to the first two movies and include everybody. Um, it was it was different than how it is now, but um, it's the perfect way to end it. And I feel like every time I watch that part of the movie, I'll always think about the impact we had on that. And also yeah. there's just little one-liners throughout the movie that I always really think get. about. Yeah, and but I'm trying to think of like the a performance that will always stick with me. I mean, Alien Invasion, the, the first song of the movie, we did that over the course of a couple night shoots. And like, like I said, we were super delirious. So I feel like that literally like scratched its way on my brain and will never leave. Totally. Um, but, I think Ain't No Doubt About It will definitely yeah. be a big one because that was just so much fun to film. Absolutely. Um, and also, like, it's not really a part in the movie, but, uh, you know, every time somebody rapped, you'd always do a big dance party afterwards. Yeah. Um, and so, like, no matter who it was, like, we would stop production and play all of the songs from Zombies and then just dance. And, like, the last night, like, Milo and I made speeches and the director, yes. Paul, made a speech. And, like, we're all just, like, crying and dancing together. It was, like, the best memory ever. And that was, like, the last day on set. Um, yeah so i'll we, never forget that that we took like an hour after we had finished the movie we just chilled in the studio we played every song from the previous movies we like meg said we said yeah. speeches we told everybody you know what this meant to us yeah. and then when that was all done i sat in the corner of the studio for like 10 minutes in silence just taking yeah. it all in because that's the that was the last time i'm going to yeah. be on that set doing yeah. that so yeah. i'm glad that i took that moment wild yeah. yeah. And so finally, Meg, tell me about the Winchesters and also your appearance <laughs> on them. High School Musical, the musical, the series. And Milo, tell me about Prom Pact. Okay. Meg, <laughs> okay. You <go> first. <laughs> um, well, uh, High School Musical was so much fun, especially to be with Matt. Again, um, all my scenes were pretty much with him. And uh, I love working with him and just hanging out with him in any capacity that I can. Um, so that was incredible. And everyone was so nice. And being a part of High School Musical is just, I, can't even wrap my head around it so awesome and then Winchester's is another crazy franchise that I never thought in a million years I'd be a part of I mean Supernatural is amazing it ran 15 seasons that's ridiculous wow. um and the fans are just so committed and so incredible I don't know how I keep getting so lucky like I really don't uh and uh so we're really excited to tell John and Mary Winchester's story and how they started in the 70s and um, I'm really excited to start that and everybody's so nice and the fans have been so welcoming and awesome and hopefully we do them proud. So <laughs> I think you will. Thank you. Everybody seems really cool. Prom uh, pack. Yeah, did prom pack, did a movie, another movie in Canada on the other side, Vancouver. Huh? Um, that was an amazing experience. I worked with Peyton Lee, who's done lots for Disney as well. And um, we became super close. The, the, uh, Executive producer on Prom Pact is also the executive producer for Doogie Kamealoha, which is Peyton's show. And um, I talked to him and I was like, yo, I uh, I really want to visit Peyton for her birthday. I really wanted to go to Hawaii, but I also wanted to see Peyton because <laughs> that's where it shoots. But I was like, if you want to make me like a background person like or an extra on this show, that would be greatly appreciated. So then I'll have to buy my ticket to Hawaii and you can buy it for me. <laughs> but then he was like, OK, I'll get back to you on that. And then he was like, why don't we just make you like the love interest this season? So now I, I booked that show from Prom Pact. So I'm super excited about that. But I think Prom Pact is a really cute, well-written movie. And I can't wait for people to see season two of Doogie and say hi to my character. Amazing. Well, thank you both so much for the art that you bring into the world. I really appreciate thank it. You. Thank you for taking the time. Have a great day. Thank, thank you. you so You're much. The best. Have a great day. All right. We'll thank see you, you next time.